Good afternoon from North Carolina. I had another uh, small kiln opening today. Uh, my mugs came out that I did for the coffee shop, and I'm real pleased with these. They all came out very well. I've already taken everything out of the kiln because my husband's not here to video, so I'm just going to um, go through and show you what I did. This, I don't know if you can see that, it says Coffee Affair. And that is just the uh, dark chino or regular chino with chambray over the uh, top one third of it. And it just runs beautifully, but not too much as long as you keep it up about a third of the mug. And then these are the uh, regular Chino with spring green, which is uh, has to be one of my favorites. Now, it does pull, but where it pulls, there is some glaze on the clay, as you can see, because the clay is dark. It's not the color of the bottom. So there's very little of that on the inside of the mug. And I feel like they're perfectly safe to drink out of um, like that. Even, even the lettering has some glaze over it because I rub it across there. So I feel okay about that. If anybody has any comments, I'd be uh, happy to get your opinion. But I had five of these that I did, so I'm just so thrilled that they, they all came out. They have my little, oh, you can't see it. So that's a, actually a leaf stamp. Can't quite get that right where you can see it in the video, but it's a little leaf. And then I also use a, um, a fish. I think there. Well, I'm sorry, you just can't see it with this, uh, doing this on my iPhone. Then I'm going to show you the worst last. <laughs> this is a bread tray that I made, and it's on little loafers, or it might be raku clay. I think this is little loafers, and it's just spring green, and it breaks to with this light clay, and it looks like a real light yellow under there. Although I think it's just the clay doing that. But it turned out beautiful, and that's the color of my dining room. I have it in that um, lime green and white, so that's going to be real pretty on my white table. And this is my one of my dinner plates that I'm finishing a set for. I've got a couple more plates to do, and I've been really happy with with this go around. They have mint, coyote mint on the back and the center and uh, light and dark chino around the edges and you really can't see the color very well there's a lot more color to that than it appears in this video this is a bacon cooker um, or a grill pan for your oven or microwave and I painted this just kind of put a dark uh, center in the back it has a raised kind of edge because of where the bacon drippings collect along this groove and you can't really see that color well either but it is very pretty in person this is Pam's uh, green and when it turns out right it's really beautiful but the problem is it doesn't always turn out right and I brushed that on Normally, if I pour it, it just turns out gorgeous. If I, I have sprayed it and it turned out terrible, I brushed this one and it looks just fine. Now, I did it on this general purpose bowl where I put light chino on the inside and then was going to have Pam's green on the outside and it's just this dull brownie green. And it doesn't look too great at all. I mean, I'm going to keep this anyway because it cracked on the bottom. And I don't know. I just have a time with cracks. And I, yes, I compress and compress, but I still have a time with them. 
Maybe one day my technique will be such that I won't have that problem. Uh, these are a couple little soap dishes I made that, um, on little... No, that's... This is um, reclaimed clay. That's why it has a few specks in it. Um, spring green, and this is that coral satin and um, chino. And it broke just beautifully. I just love that. I think it's gorgeous. And this is just a little flower tray that is chino. And um, I think that is chambray in the center of that, actually. And this, I have the most god-awful thing you've ever seen in your life. This was a little tray that I made. And... This is a new color I got from Laguna. It is orange satin. Now this is coral satin from Coyote, and that is just beautiful on. I mean, it even shows some of the speckles. You can't really see it well, but you can see some of the speckles, some of the iron from the speckled brownstone through that. This is the most horrible thing you've ever seen in your life in person. It doesn't even look that bad on this camera, but it looks terrible in person. It's very, very matte and dull and just makes you kind of want to be sick in your stomach when you look at it. So I had two duds this time and the rest I'm very happy with. And um, I'll just show you a couple of things I'm working on. I've made some what I call primitive looking bowls. Um, I just wanted something a little more altered looking and kind of different. I, I like those sorts of things. So I did some faceting and messing with the edges. And I, this is, um, I don't know, I call that a pocketbook bowl. It looks like a pocketbook to me. <laughs> and then this is one of the faceted bowls that Janice did a, a video of and I just thought it was really cool so I think I'm going to use oatmeal on these and see if I can get a little bit of a wood fired look because I like that look um, on some on things like these that look primitive I think it looks really cool then I got a new tool that I'm in love with it's that Steve tool and it just does the coolest texturing on bowls. That's a little bowl I did. And then this is a vase I did with the texturing on it. And it just makes the neatest textures. And then here's some of my little side dish serving trays I've got to do. And I don't know if I showed you these, but this is a fish I'm working on. Um, he's really ready to be bisque fired. Hope you can see that. I'm kind of under the shell. I did that one. This one has been bisque fired. And my grandchildren were here. And they made some faces. And this is one. And this little person has a mouth full of teeth, I'll tell you. And they made some fish. And I hope you can see. And there's another little face. And another fish way back in there. And I'm going to have to get those uh, bisque fired. And I think I'll put clear on those. Let them hang them on their wall. And that's sort of what I've been working on. I've got some really nice platter uh, bowls made at school that I can't wait to see how they have turned out on my Wednesday night class. And until I have more, that's it from North Carolina. Have a great day. Bye.